Okay, I did not get to record anything from the drive. Me and Money barely, barely, we barely made it here. But we here, this is the first visitation in a very, very, very long time. All right, guys, I'll let you know what's happening. But um, yeah, your girl didn't get no sleep. We deep off in these country woods. Look at it. Nothing but country woods. About to pull up. We're excited. He's excited. Okay, so we're just coming out of visitation. Um, it was nice. It was a little different with the little plastic partition in between. But what I had to say is, though that is there and my daughter would agree, it was a lot better than how we were um, visiting. When he was on CM, it was a lot better than that because um, with CM, you had like the big thick glass that you could barely hear them through. This time it, it's a partition there and cool. Yeah, the ride was alone. Oh my gosh, we even passed that first facility he was at like almost 19 years ago that he started at, which was the furthest, furthest one away. We had passed that one like an hour, you know, past that one. So he's way up here in the panhandle, but you know, I'm just grateful and glad that we were able to see him. I haven't seen him in seven, seven, maybe almost eight months. So, yeah. We'll get my daughter's response when she come back from getting the gas. Um, she's trying to make me drive. Neither one of us slept. Like, to drive this far, you got to get sleep. Like, this is crazy. But um, my body kind of done woke up now. So, I said I can get the first three hours out the way. I'm going to listen to my Shine Cano courses or some of my other little YouTubers that I like. I do my three hours, she do her three hours, and hopefully we'll be home, um, you know, to spend the rest of the day with my family. Do got to work tomorrow, so I got to call it a day a little bit earlier than usual. But, yeah, I'm just glad to see him. I barely got this ponytail on. Yeah, I had to throw that on. I was not prepared. Okay, this the part that threw me off because you have to put in on Monday, you have to hurry up like five o'clock in the morning and uh, apply for visitation. Because when the slot, the slot, okay, the time that you apply, you basically get that slot. So it, um, if you're the first one, you're gonna get eight o'clock. If you're the second round, you're gonna get, I guess like 12 o'clock or something. Cause it's only so many that can fit in at eight. And, um, I guess and he was like you know what because at first I was like I can't even sleep because I got to be up at 5 a.m. to apply and then they they um, get back to you by email like around on Thursday is what they told me on that Thursday they let you know but figuring that you know the holiday fell on a Thursday that I knew they had to get back to me before that on Wednesday but we just kept checking and then remember he is in a different time zone than me so I'm like, it's getting late. Like yesterday, I'm like, it's getting kind of late. So I guess I'm not going to see him. So I had already went and picked up my nephew and I had already was doing other stuff. I, I went and got my brakes done. Then I'm like, okay, so um, I'm just going to chill and edit my videos, play with my little nephew. Uh, I ain't seen him in a minute. And my daughter sends me the screenshot of the text where i mean the screenshot of the email where they approved it and i'm like great they approved it but now i wasn't even planning to go so i didn't have nothing to wear like it's been forever since i had to get these visitation clothes together i am not complaining because i'm i'm so happy and grateful to see him but it's like you kind of get yourself untrained 
in that manner because we knew like which bra you have to put on which bra was the one without the wire which one was the one that you made it through and um which one was the um the pants that didn't go off because of the buckles and stuff like that like i literally couldn't find nothing to wear nothing and then i done got a look chunkier since yeah and then gonna look chunkier demonia you're interrupted do you want to be in the video Hi. Well, you're supposed to give your update. Stop. Money, come on now. I look a mess. Money, you look like yourself. No, what you come trying on. to say? Money, you just look like yourself. Come no, on. No, I look a mess. Money. Later. <sighs> okay. Now, any other time she want to be all in the videos. But, um. Way too much. Money, how was it seeing your father in, when the last time you visited him? Oh, wow. Almost a year. Okay, how was it seeing him for the first time in almost a year? Weird. What's weird about it? It just felt weird. Like, I don't know. And then they brought the canine in there. I was like, what the heck? Okay, you know that's like random stuff that happens with, you know, visitations and stuff. But it, it is like a little different because the facility is so small. And like every facility has their own rules that you go by. So I didn't know if I could wear slides because some some places you could wear your slides, which that's easier for me because that's my everyday shoes. But um, I have on a dress. So I ended up having to rock a dress with some tennis shoes because I it? don't. Yeah, I rocked it. No, you didn't. I did. I rocked it because I didn't know if I could wear slides and I had some backup heels, but I ain't wore heels and I don't know how long and I ain't trying to wear no heels, but I, I guess it was cute. Mm -mm. Yes, it was. All right. Thank you guys. Um, this was just a little update. I finally got to visit after a long time. So thank you. Rhyme with your girl Cadillac. All right, you ready to take over driving? No. Stop. <laughs> I know it's dark, but we just pulled up. It's been literally like all day driving. Horrible weather. Horrible weather. And thank God we made it home. Ah, oh, hold on, brain fart. What was he what the okay what did you call it what did you call it what did you call it when he was in it's not confinement um dang okay what the heck it just got on oh see cm it's a